I want to show you how you can get exchange rate quotes from Microsoft Office 365. So over here on the, in the left um, columns, I have some different currencies, and I have what their ticker symbol is. For US dollars, USD. For Japanese yen, it's JPY. British pound, GBP, etc. So the way you quote currencies is you quote them this way. For example, USD slash EUR. Now, this is not the way we think of it in terms of writing a mathematical equation. This is not a mathematical equation. It's a quote convention. And it's actually the opposite of what you would think. So this is not um, dollars per euro. This is actually the number of euros it takes to buy a dollar. The first term here, let me make this a little bit bigger, is what we call the base currency. So that's what we're, we want to buy one unit of. The second term after the slash is what we call the quote currency. So that's going to be the number of units of that currency it takes to buy one unit of the base currency. So I've typed this in here and this is the quote convention and if you go to data and again it depends on how your office 365 is set up mine happens to be set up so that I have to go over here and click this um, menu option and there are a bunch of different items you can get information about I've done one on stocks before um, but you can get a lot of neat information about cities foods locations etc but here we're interested in currency, so we're going to click that on. Now, because I did the quote convention right, it had no problem recognizing it. And right here you see um, a little icon or card, and you can click it on, and it'll give you some, some information here. And you can also, if you're inside this, you get a card up here, and you click this on, and you have your choice of items. So let's take the first one. Let's say currency. So that tells us that it's the number of euros that it's going to take to buy a dollar. So if you're still learning this convention, um, that might be a good thing to use. Let's get the price. So the price here is 0 0.90 euros to buy one US dollar. And you may want to extend the number of decimal places here to get actually a more accurate quote. Let's try some other um, currencies here. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, suppose we're interested in the number of pounds it takes to buy one euro. So I'm going to type in, so euro is the base currency and GBP is the, or British pounds, is the quote currency. So again, I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to click this on, click currencies, again it recognizes the quote, and again I'll, I'll say what currency is it in, it's in pound sterling, and let me see here, let's see what the price is. The price is 0.83 pounds to buy one euro, and again let me just um, increase the number of decimal places here to get a more accurate representation. Let's see how many um, yen it takes to buy one US dollar. USD slash JPY, right? Again, base currency, quote currency. Again, let's let's put currency here. So we know that these are going to be in yen. And let's go to the price. And we can see it's 115.38 yen. So as long as you happen to know the ticker symbol of the currency you want, you can find any rate or cross rate that you would like using uh, Microsoft Excel 3, 365. So this is kind of handy, right? And you can type these in and it'll help you learn because you can type in, you can ask on the card what the currency is so that you know that it's in euros, and in fact, they give you the right symbols here, right? Euro, pound, and um, 
yen, but it's a great way to get quotes um, right directly from Microsoft 365. I mean, there are a lot of other places you can get quotes, but um, this is also a good one.